guys, Jordan here from Girl Talk. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how much liquid these two pads hold and how much liquid a Barely There liner from Kotex and a Curves liner from Kotex. This is Kotex pad which is just the ultra slim um, regulars. They are not long or anything. They just have wings on the side and they're about yay long. Then I'm going to be comparing the Kotex brand to the Always brand. And this is the Always Ultra Thin um, super, super Durable pad and it is just long with wings as well. So for this I'm going to need some water so I'm going to go grab that. So, I got my water, and I also grabbed a paper towel to lay down on my counter. So, I have just opened the Always Liner. So, that is about how long it is. So, we're just going to unpeel this and stick this onto our paper towel. At this point, I'm going to flip my tripod down so you can see what I'm doing instead of my face. So... There you go. So now I have just put that onto the paper towel. Then next I'm going to be moving on after I take that off and do the wings. These wings are a little bit smaller. I find these ones are more uncomfortable, but it depends on what you like. Um, I find that these ones are a little bit more uncomfortable than the Kojax brand. So next I'm going to open up my Kotex one. These ones have designs on them. I think they are really cute. So, um, and these ones are very curved at the end. These ones are less curved and they have a, like, more of a flat kind of edge. Because then, next we're just going to place it. As you can tell, this one is indeed longer, but I think this one is a little bit thicker. It's just going to peel the little tabs little tab stickies off and then place both of the wings down. So our wings are overlapping but that is completely okay. I will next compare the liners but we're gonna go and see how much liquid the both of, like both of the pads can hold first. So I have with me a two teaspoon little syringe. So I'm going to just take this and do two teaspoons of each, you know, of each amount. So, so I got exactly two teaspoons in there. So now we're going to go over to the always. So I'm just going to... I actually think this is a stay dry one, but I'm not exactly sure. And it has a leak guard quick lock in bottom. And as you can see, it is actually pretty quick. Put it on there and it immediately soaks it all right up. It is not wet to the touch and it is still working pretty well. So next we're going to move on to the next one. Next product. So this one has had two teaspoons. Now we're going to go into two teaspoons on this. This one does soak the liquid right in, but whenever I am done, we will see if it is still wet to the touch. This one, it's wet to the touch, but not extremely wet. This one, yeah, they're both about the same amount of wetness right now. And so now we're going to go back to the other one. Okay, so now I've just added four to each. And now I'm going to make it to five. So once I get to the one teaspoon line, I will just switch over to the Kotex. Okay. Okay. 
We have now done five on each one, so now we're going to do the leak test. I'm going to hold them both up and look underneath. There are no leaks. Um, whenever I hold them up, they are not dripping. So they are both doing pretty well in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I think they're doing pretty okay. So now I will see you guys whenever I go back to 10. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat what I did on the last one since it goes in twos. So I'm gonna do one more onto the always and then do the rest onto the cotex. Okay, so each of them have absorbed 10 teaspoons of water. Um, hasn't really leaked off, and if it has, it's because I pushed down a little bit too hard. They are very wet to the touch. If you touch them, you will see water start to form by your fingers. This one is packed full of water. Um, so this one is probably going to be leaked. Surprisingly, none of them have leaked through the back, but now I'm going to tip them over. I'll face them towards you. Hold it up. Up, this one is starting to leak towards the bottom. Yes, so this pad, the Kotex, has just begun to leak and so is the other one. So I think they have both reached their max limit at about 10 teaspoons. Um, I don't think that you will bleed 10 teaspoons in two hours and if you do you are extremely heavy um because i probably have to change my pad out about twice a day twice to three times a day um so yeah that's a little bit too much so now i'm just going to roll this up grab another one and then we can compare the liners okay so i just opened the kotex curves liner and this one has this purple design that is a ultra lock seal, which basically will lock in moisture as soon as it hits, or at least that's what it's supposed to mean. Um, I know I said compare, um, like a few seconds ago I said that we would compare them. We're not comparing them. We're simply just going to see how much water or how much blood would fit into them or they could hold it on a leak. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Um, because they are different sizes. This is a barely there liner, which is for minimum to no flow, which is usually used for discharge and spotting. This one is a Kotex curve liner. This one is used for heavier flow, but not enough, meaning that you would need to use the pad. So, for this one, we are going to want to go, um, we're going to go one teaspoon at a time. So I'm just going to use my half trick. Um, um, I did this test yesterday. I believe this one holds about four and this one holds about two to two and a half. So let's do one teaspoon for this guy. And you cannot really see... You can't really see the water, so I'm sorry, I'm running out of food coloring. So I have just done one in here, and it looked like it appears as it has already leaked from the side. I've done barely, I've done about, I've done about one milliliter, and it looked like it already had started leaking, but I don't know. I'm also spreading it out. Whenever you unappear, you usually bleed in the same place. So this one is very wet to the touch. This one, eh, not so much. Um, looking at the bottom, none of them have really leaked in the middle. And I'm holding it up just to see if it'll leak. Hold on, let me move this up a little. Okay, just seeing if it would leak. Um, this one, I... It has not leaked yet, but it it's wet to the touch, but it feels like it's pretty full. 
So let's do this again. <coughs> so I'll come back. So I've just done one teaspoon on this one. Now it's time to do one teaspoon on the other. Okay, so I've done two on this one and two on this one. This one, the pattern is starting to fade away and it is very, very full. It is very, very full. It's not exact, it's not, like it wouldn't absorb anymore. So see, now if I hold them up, we can see if they're going to leak. Um, this one, it has leaked all down the side right here. Um, it has not, uh, yes it did, it is starting to leak through the back. This one is okay. It is not leaking through the back. Um, it is still on here pretty nicely. Even I've only done two. So now let's move on to four. Okay, so now I have done four onto the small curves liner from Codex. Um, and it is pretty full. It is starting to leak through the back. Um, and if you hold it up, it is dripping. Like I'm holding it and dripping it and I have water all over my hand so so the max for this is about four and the max for this is about two to three and the two pads both of them were about ten so that is my it's my little video on Kotex liners and comparing Kotex to always ultra thin regulars so, thank you guys for watching. Bye!